Mount Olympus, mountain fortress and home of the gods, is under attack. Because it appears even here, the zombie plague has stricken. Oh god. This man needs to see a dentist. Speaking of needing to see a dentist, Mount Olympus is going to be defended by the British. Here you can see Her Majesty's finest red coats, 1,000 in this formation. Quite a formidable army. How powerful are these musket balls? I don't see... Oh god, this is... This may not be very good. We need to up their damage, I think, for these two be able to reenact proper muskets. And unfortunately, we didn't equip them with bayonets. So this could be bad. Gentlemen, for king and country, or queen, I don't know, at uh, during the 18th century, which one was it? King, queen? I mean, they had both, but which one did they say? For queen and country, pip pip cheerio. I like to think that uh, my British viewers are like, you know, you're kind of obnoxious, but I see you're trying to be funny. Well, the musketeers here are, uh, were able to win. But that was at a one-to-one -one ratio. 1,000 red coats, 1,000 zombies. What happens if there are 10,000 zombies? We have the same amount of red coats, but the zombies a little bit thicker in formation. You may charge when ready. This is what it's like to have muskets being shot at your face. Oh my. These guys are having some serious indigestion problems. It may have been chili night, but then again, chili isn't a British thing. But is it meat pies? Do they have a bad meat pie? Oh my, this is not good. Uh, the British are getting completely encircled. I love how the AI is like, you know what? I can't bite them here. I'm gonna try to encircle them. And eventually you have these just like double envelopments where they're flanking on both sides and massing down the middle. Because unfortunately, the British do not have artillery, and I'm thinking that mu the muskets are still a little bit underpowered. I think for each shot, they should be doing damage. Because before we're gonna show off <clears throat> 100,000 or 1 million zombies, we need our red coats to be working. And that's where, look at this, this is my America Boom Boom. Now, we could use the secret weapon, the Mantis Shrimp, which is just ridiculous. But this red coat needs. 200 damage. Actually, a standard zombie has 200 health. Oh my gosh, I guessed it. In it. There we go. Accuracy? These are the queen's finest. 95% accuracy. So, outnumbered 10 to 1, how do they fare now? The only thing limiting these soldiers is the fact that they are not equipped with extra rations of tea and their fire rate. I love when all the units don't fire at the same time, but you have this little, like, delayed staccato firing. It's beautiful. Why aren't... Oh, wow. Even with 95% accuracy and enough damage to kill a zombie in one hit, these guys still seem to be lacking in their ability. Now, it could be the topography. Maybe they picked a poor spot. But that being said, the zombies have almost lost half their troops. They've lost 40%, and the British are now about to where they've lost 40% of their numbers. So the British had them in the first half. I think it's evident they need artillery. However, the issue here is that we don't have proper 18th century artillery, at least not yet in this early access build. Which, by the way, leave your battle suggestions in the comments below. Wait, there's Nikola Tesla? I... I want one. I would like one single Nikola Tesla. He's a hero unit. He will be at the front of the formation. And behind him are artillery. Medieval catapults. We will get 50 of them. I'm very curious to see how good the catapults are, and even more so than that. Where are you? Nikola Tesla, like, you look like a pretty average dude. Oh, you're carrying a hair dryer. No, that's an alien kind of a gun. I mean, it wouldn't be alien, right, if Tesla made it. All right, Tesla, what do you got for us? Your neck is uh, awfully strange, by the way. I'm assuming it's gonna be like a lightning beam, right? All right, Tesla, do your thing. Oh, there it is. Ha! Huh. Okay, that should help them control the middle. It does like, it just blasts through an entire column of men. 
Well, in this case, the men are dead and they are called zombies. Look at this in slow motion. Dang. That thing is amazing. No zombie is able to really get too close or at least stay there for very long. The catapults are firing and, and seem to be doing area of effect damage, uh, spilling zombies all over the place, creating projectiles that actually bleed through other zombies. They don't really do much more than that. Oh my goodness. It is raining zombies. Hallelujahs. It's raining dead men. This is chaotic. Oh my. The zombies are absolutely getting demolished at a precipitous rate. And the British have only suffered just over 10% casualties, at least at this point. The zombies are down to 2,000. 20% will make that 17% now of their original numbers. And I gotta say that the man himself, Nikola Tesla, is a big part of that. Oh man, I, I think I'm deaf now. Don't stand too close to a thousand muskets firing all at the same time. Oh, look at these catapults. Is that those rocks going right over my head? So it seemed like the left flank is the weak one and they're actually losing a decent amount of artillery fire here. Fortunately, there's not a whole lot of friendly fire. So long as you don't use the American shotgun troops. Oh, that's why. Most of the units don't have line of sight on this group of zombies over here. They need to strengthen the flank. And they'll need to because the zombies are going up to 100,000. Now, if I was the British, I would pick a flatter area to fight. So if the zombies get 100,000, can Nikola Tesla lead them to victory? 1,051 versus 100,000. Let the games begin. So on a flat field, there should be a distinct advantage for line of sight now. He who has the greater range and the greater fire rate and able to do the more damage, the more DPS, should win, at least until the zombies close the distance. There's Mount Olympus in the background. What is that weird line? There's something flying over there. I can't tell what it is. All right, wow, the muskets have very good range. Wait a minute. I'm seeing a ton of zombies on the front line not getting wrecked. A lot of the muskets just go like over their head. Like, look at this. Somehow, some of these guys are like aiming up. That's 95% accurate. And these cannibals, this is like running a gauntlet. <laughs> oh my goodness. Slow motion catapult fire. Douche, look at those things flying in the air. Oh man, the physics of this is just truly fun to watch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They're getting close. They will eventually get here. God powers selected a shotgun smite. Number keys or mouse wheel to switch. Oh! I... I am... I, I forgot. My vacation home was up on Mount Olympus and now I am Zeus. Okay, I guess that kind of works. So we have shotgun smite. Noah's flood? Uh, okay. Let's, let's flood this area of the map, just for scientific purposes. Oh my. It looks like Creeper World. That's a name I haven't heard in a long time. The flood doesn't seem to do a whole lot. Woo! It's raining flood. All right, let's go real time and see what this looks like. Yeah, I don't think it does a whole lot. So we don't have the nuke yet, just shotgun smite and Noah's flood. So in, in theory, I could... Protect the flank. Even that I don't think is going to do too much. The artillery is getting flanked. I don't think the Brits can hang against a hundred thousand. Even with me raining shotguns from above. I think we need more heroes. Yeah, the British definitely have lost this one. What other heroes are even in the game? Fantasy, we've got trolls. Trolls would be interesting. We have Action Man and Chunk Norris. <laughs> Chunk Norris, you're on that flank. Well, action man. And Chunk Norris, you're on that flank. But the zombies, uh, they're overcompensating. One million. One million zombies. Oh, there's weird rocks. Okay, guys, you're about to die. Because a million zombies is pretty terrifying. Like, look at this. There's the British formation. And then, oh yeah, that giant just thing covering the horizon. 
Yeah, zombies. I would need thermonuclear weapons. It just looks like old school TV static. What is with this gap? What is this mystery over here? Why are there no zombies in that spot? Does this even make sense? Oh, now they're filling it? This has got to be one of the strangest things I've seen. They're avoiding it. They're scared of it. It must smell something terrible to them. What smells terrible to a zombie? Oh, you can see the Tesla ray going off. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, Nikola Tesla. And now we have Action Man. Hey, it's Keanu Reeves. Look at you. She's definitely holding down that plank. Now, how's Chunk Norris doing? Where are you, Chunk? Oh, yeah. There he is. Look at his little outfit. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, there's been tens of thousands of zombies killed, but we're still working with a relatively small amount of British troops. We need to upgrade them. What we're going to do is get a red coat and have their attack range times 10. Their damage, 690. Their health, 420. Attack range is actually gonna be 203 because reasons. Impact force, four. Splash damage, one. Why not? Accuracy, 900%. <laughs> is that even possible? Sniper. And now that we have this elite force, to aid humanity, we must field them on the battlefield. They're gonna even be behind the catapults. We're going to add even more armies. This is going to be an interesting formation, but it might just work. Now we added 600 men divided up into two groups in column formation on the flanks. Essentially, the idea is to control the flanks. Well, I mean, it's still a million zombies. So I'm not sure how good they're going to be, but at least it should keep the center formation from crumbling and it should keep the artillery safe. The artillery is going to do the majority of the damage to this 1 million zombie army. I would love to see like trees be able to be felled from artillery fire. Uh oh, the zombies are at the right flank and look like they're about to be at the left flank. Center formation is holding strong. At this point, they already would have met the enemy. Oh, you know what? This just attracted all of the zombies on that flank. <laughs> it was a good idea, uh, but like, what are you gonna do, man? What are you gonna do against a million zombies? Look at this. This is insane. Even with Nikola Tesla holding down the middle, Chunk Norris on the right flank, you can see zombies flying. Look at this. Let's see Chunk Norris in slow motion. Look at this guy. That's slow motion and he just looks like super fast. He doesn't even need to make contact with the zombies. They just go flying. I gotta say though, my new favorite hero, as much as I love Keanu Reeves, definitely Nikola Tesla because his weapon is amazing. This looks like something out of like Call of Duty, like in the zombies mode. Gosh, I missed that mode. Back when it was awesome. I still remember playing it for the first time. Oh man, I'm getting a video game nostalgia. Video game nostalgia is some of the best nostalgia I think you can have. Um, yeah, they are, our little formations on the right and left are completely enveloped. Our snipers are enveloped. Uh, Chuck Norris is still doing his thing, but the center formation is being enveloped and artillery is, I think, starting to get destroyed or just about to. Yep. What we need is Gatling guns, cannons, mortars, like old school. Because unfortunately, Mount Olympus, the siege, we've only delayed the forces. This is our Thermopylae. Oh gosh, these poor men fighting to the bitter end. The snipers getting overwhelmed. Artillery collapsing. The world's heroes literally standing. Look at this. What I love about this is he's on a mountain of zombies. He's built a, man a mountain. This is literal Mount Olympus, but it's Mount Zumbalimp... You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Zumbalimpus. Oh, <gasps> no. Keanu Reeves, where are you? Is he dead? <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, humanity doesn't stand a chance against such reckless hate. Chunk Norris, are you still going? It sure looks like it. Yeah, I guess you can't really get close and do damage on him. He might be Zeus's dad. The Brits are doing their best. Tesla is still holding the line. I love though how you can like literally see the topography of a mountain of zombies from Action Man. But humanity has fallen 
The Redcoats have fought their hardest. They've bought precious time for us to create an Avengers League of Justice <laughs> to help fight the zombie apocalypse. All the world's heroes are now aware of the problem and are massing on that mountaintop to fight and counterattack against the zombies. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching another episode of Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. Those hills are not hills of grass and earth, but of bodies and blood. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one, where hopefully the zombies don't win.